Hi, it's Matt here from App Design. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you how to add downloads into your website using Delightful Downloads on WordPress. So, as you can see, we've got a list of different recipes on this page, and each recipe has a button, which, as you can see, if I click this, it will download or open it in your browser, whatever the setting is. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add the uh, another one into this page and talk you through it. So if we go into the WordPress dashboard, once you've installed the plugin, you'll get uh, this download section. And this is where all your downloads live, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new one here. And then as the title, let's just go with Matty's download. And we're going to upload a file. So for the purpose of this, we're going to upload a JPEG. Uh, you can upload JPEGs, PDFs, zip files. Um, I haven't come across anything that you can't upload yet, so I'd um, be interested to know if uh, if there is. So as you can see, um, there's a few different settings, and also you can see the download count, which is which is always nice for analytics and stuff. So for this page, it's a members site, so it'll replicate the same settings for the page. So I wouldn't mess with any of these. It, it tends to be quite quite self-explanatory anyway, uh, and it works the way it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to publish that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go to our page, and we're going to edit the page. So you can see this is using the Divi Builder. Uh, works with any builder doesn't have to be Divi and it also works with the standard WYSIWYGs and custom fields as well so fantastic so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our into our section here where we've got you can see DD so D download that means delightful download ID is the ID of the download and the text is what appears on the button so what we're going to do is we're under there we're just going to put Add download here and then you'll see in the list Matty's download so what I've done um, is there's some style set up automatically that that styles that button for delightful downloads however as standard you do get different styles so for example um, for now we'll just leave it as inherit because I've already got style set up but you can select different buttons or plain text and again, with the actual button, you can select a different style. So blue, black, grey, for example. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as inherit because I'm, I know that my styles are going to override it anyway. And then the button for the te the text for the button, rather. Let's just get this gorgeous recipe now. And insert. And it's as simple as that. What we do then is just save it and update it. Go back to the page, give it a refresh, and there you have it added in. Any questions, give me a shout. It's quite simple to follow. Um, look forward to hearing any, any questions. Cheers.